TV. Now I just wanted to take a few moments today to tell you about some really exciting sewing projects that I've been working on recently. So the first one was this outfit for Mumtaz from the Craft Cafe and the Craft and Travel blog. Now she was doing a talk at the Tate Modern, as in the Tate Modern. And she asked me if I could make her a dress or dress coat to wear for a presentation there. So my brief was, because it was supposed to be all to do with colour and wearing colour, she wanted to colour block, so she wanted to wear one colour for her dress, one colour for tights, one colour for a top, one colour for her hair, because she has very colourful hair. I started, oh in fact it's still here, I can show you. This is Mumtaz's, let me go around here. This is actually Mumtaz's body double. So I took her measurements, I, I measured where the measurements were distributed. So for example, if Mumtaz, say her bust was 34, I can't remember if it was, kind of 20 centimetres of that sort of fell at the front of it and then like 14 at the back. So I built up the dressmaker's dummy to reflect her proportion as well as her size. And then when I'd done that, I then began to do a bodice block of her shape. Now you can learn how to do your bodice block by watching this fantastic video of Shingo Sato, as in the real Shingo Sato, um, showing how to drape a perfect bodice block really easily. It's not difficult at all. Now when I'd done that, because I was aiming for something that looked like it had kind of boxed shoulders, I basically grew some boxed shoulders onto my bodice block and incorporated them into the design and then created new seams, new seams that meant I could then cut it out in a two dimensional way. It is actually a TR cutting technique. And I do have a video, a new video, of me doing one of my TR cutting techniques, but not this box shoulder thing. So then, what did we do next? We did that. Oh, also she wanted this kind of balloon effect um, skirt. And I like anything that sticks out the sides. So I was quite happy to do that. But we could only do it by having this fitted bodice, otherwise she would have looked enormous. So I made it in this fabric. She insisted we had an orange zip, but do you know what, it looked really good in the end. Oh, I did this trick with the seam, the, the direction of the fabric. So I made the lines that were in the fabric go, um, cut them on the cross, so they go, went down in a V because then I thought it would help it look more slimming. So do you want to see the end result? It was very, sorry, <laughs> but it really was quite good, but very out there, because it was for the Tate Modern. So here she is, coming down the escalator of the Tate Modern. Here she is walking away. Notice how people are like stopping and turning. Very busy there. This is a photo of both of us against the uh, colour wall, which apparently was still a bit wet. Thanks. Um, and then this is the presentation of her with Katie doing a fascinating talk on how Katie wears colour in her life and how it kind of impacts upon her and people around her. So this is the actual dress that I wore to that event. Do you think this should be a new pattern? I don't know. It's got set in sleeves. Um, I've done this kind of pattern match thing on the back with the hands, but you could just do it in a plain fabric. I've done it so it has this pussy bow, but what I do really like, I know it's weird, isn't it? Don't you love pockets? So 
it has these really deep pockets in the side seam, which is very easy to do. I don't know if you can see all of it. Shall I try and go back a little bit? It's got a fitted upper half, two tiers. I've just shoved this frill in there. You don't need to. But do you think I should make this a pattern? Look. Do you think that should be a pattern? Um, I'm going to do a tutorial soon, and I might do it in a, a plain fabric so you can see what it'd be like in a plain fabric. Anyway, let me know. Do you think that this should be my new pattern for the summer? I also thought that if you opened it, because it has a seam here, look. If you made it so it's open all the way down the front and with long sleeves, you know me and my coats, make a gorgeous coat, particularly a raincoat. Do you know why? I just think raincoat would be good. So the other thing that I made recently that I thought could be a pattern I don't know, is it too easy? Maybe. So my daughter was going for this big night out with her dad um, at the school. So I had two hours to make her an outfit in because I looked around the shops and I couldn't find anything that was worth the money they were charging. And even then I couldn't find anything that was suitable. So I made her this, but it's really easy to make. So hopefully you can see that. So it's just a wrap around dress, right? So it's just like any other wrap around dress. It kind of flutes out a little bit though. Now what I do want to tell you is this. I made all of it with a twin needle and an overlocker. So all of the side seams I did with a twin needle. I didn't do a zigzag. I think it's so much easier. And then obviously all the hems were done with a twin needle. The armholes I did with a twin needle and then overlocked and they look really neat. And the uh, ties, I bagged out a strip for the ties and then turned it the right way round using a twin needle and then I top stitched it with the twin needle as well. And the whole thing, I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing, looks very manufactured in a good way. Um, so it's got these darts here at the back, but it's just three, is it three pattern pieces? Yeah, it's three pattern pieces. One for the two fronts, one for the back that's cut on the fold, and one for the sleeve, and then I needed to do a bit of bias for, for the back neck. But you can wear it with the ties just at the back. But she seemed to like it with the tie coming around the front. Now you can add darts here, but my daughter didn't want them. I'm hoping you can see that. But what I do like is, it's kind of like one size fits all if you're a teenager. So I might initially just do it in, in this one size. You can make them for your daughters unless you're particularly skinny. Um, but I really like this bit where it kind of comes up a bit at the front. I'm pulling it up. It comes up a bit at the front and goes a bit like that. Look, I quite like that. And the set-in sleeves, um, yeah, they've got a really nice shape. So let me know about that as well. Do you want a sewing pattern of this wrap dress? I hope you didn't mind being in my workroom today. I, I know it's a little bit cramped. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.